Welcome. Here is my most asked question uh, from students. And if you're, if you're a math teacher, I'm pretty sure that, um, to no surprise, you see this question and you've probably been asked it multiple times, when am I going to use this in real life? I and mean, even sometimes when I'm teaching, I stop my students and I say, I, I'm not even avoiding the question, but I can't go into that right now because I feel so passionately about it it usually gets me off track and I end up talking for 10 to 15 minutes to my students um, because I really get riled up about it. Because the fact of the situation, and the, you know, the kids know it and we kind of know it, is you know, when are they going to use the mathematics that they're learning in the classroom? Let's hold on. The traditional standard classroom, when are they going to use that stuff in real life? And the quick abrupt answer is, they're not, right? And you look at it, um, when are they really going to be using all the stuff that they're really learning or all the stuff that they're testing out on them? And you know, you can really kind of go back to say, well, they're not, right? So why are we doing this? Why are we teaching them, you know, all this information? Well, you know, a lot of times kids, I remember when I was a student, I, you know, didn't understand, you know, really why either. And, you know, going into higher education, it's like, all right, well, you know, you need to understand the stuff, and it's important to be a well-rounded student and to have an understanding of things. But I think as educators, in one part, you know, we're failing the students is, as far as not really providing them with meaning. Now, some people take that as a meaning of, you know, how do you apply this to all the real life situations? And there's been some great work in mathematics for how we can apply mathematical principles and ideas to real life situations all the way around. And that has grown from, you know, kindergarten all the way up through high school. And they've done a great job, but I don't think that's encompassing. I don't think that's the solution that every student needs because even though you can create something as far as, you know, systems of equations um, and how it relates to a real life situation, we all know that not all students are going to come across that real life situation or even have a basic understanding of the mathematics for them to be able to understand how that really applies to a real life situation. Or, to really even care how the mathematics relates um, to real life. So when I went back and started thinking about it, you know, I looked at, we focus a lot on the processes and we focus a lot on the students being, doing, um, being able to do well so they can go up to college and go forth there. And what I realized, especially as me being a student, what we lost track of is the students understanding the meaning. And I think a lot of teachers, when they say, you know, why are you doing this? They don't really have the great question of, but oh, you know, to go to college and, you know, to do well. Or you can use this in real life if you're caught on a boat and you need to calculate this and this. But I don't really think that gives students, you know, a good answer. Um, or an answer that's going to satisfy them. Why do we need, why are we going to use this in real life? Well, the question is, or I think what it, the question, um, or the answer, what it needs to be is, you know, what we're teaching you, or you know, this process that you're learning are happening for a couple of reasons. One is you need to be able to understand what you're doing and why you're doing it. If you can understand what you're doing and why you're doing it, and be able to apply what you're learning, that's part of problem solving. And in real life, you're always going to be solving problems. No matter you know, what you do, what your job is, what you have to do, you're always going to have to kind of you know, take your knowns, look for your unknowns, and find ways that you can be able to solve the problem. So a lot of mathematics is obviously you know, taking what we understand and being able to apply them to you know, solve your problems. That's one part. I think the other part as far as understanding how it relates to real life, I don't want to give students arbitrary examples of you know, if they're going to shoot an arrow and they very find the highest height of the arrow. Yes, there are going to be jobs. Of course, as a math teacher, we use it all the time. But there's jobs, yes, where they're going to have to know the mathematics. But why do students need to know all this mathematics for their real life? Why can't they just get up to Algebra 1, take a problem solving class, and then, hey, they're done? Well, that gets into, you know, why are we preparing? Why do students have to take you know, other co college courses that are not a part of their uh, curriculum? Now, you could say there might be a revolution coming along where just let students focus on what they need to do. But I think it's very important for our society that we make sure that students have a background and a foundation that they're able to move in this world or in their life however they seem fit. Now, you know, students might be able to pick their or pick their job and pick what they want to do and pick, hey, you know what, this is what I want to do, this is why I focus, I don't really need the math background. But if we limit students with what their understanding is of mathematics, we really eliminate the, how far they can really achieve with whatever they decide to do or what, whatever they decide to change to do within their occupations or whatever else they want to do. So, you know, when I tell students, when are you going to use this in your real life? Well, for some of you, um, you're not, ever. 
You're not going to apply that to the real world. And the basic thing is you don't really have the understanding of how to apply what we're learning in this classroom to really apply it to the real life situations. For others of you, you're going to use it all the time and you're not even going to know it. Um, you know, everything that you're understanding of different uh, different uh, courses or in different fields of study, you're going to be applying the basic knowledge of the mathematics that you've learned all the time. And for others of you, you might you not use it for a good 20 years, but then you decide you, oh, well, you know what, you want to become a, a realtor, or you want to you want to change your occupation, or you want to start your own company, um, or you want to do anything else. Well, having a basic of math backgrounds, and not just knowing how to add, subtract fractions, doing anything else, but having an understanding of how things work, how they come together, and how we do things in mathematics, that's the most important point. So in real life, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think in our math education we're doing a good enough job of giving students the, the toolkit that they need to leave. I think a lot of times we're just focusing on them doing something for them to test well, and then they can move on. And then they go to college so they can test well, get that degree, but then they're still kind of stuck out there in the real world with, hey, I got a degree, but what can I do? How can I apply this? And I, I don't think that everything just needs to be related. I think there are students that can move on um, from a basic understanding of mathematics and go right into the workforce. But I think the more important that once we have students that are understanding what they're doing and why they're doing it and why they're learning these basic skills, for those of you that are in math, you know that you know in high school, this is just kind of like the tip of the iceberg. Um, and I've even probably even said hit the tip of the iceberg just in my college courses. But there's so much more for us to understand that you know, for students to be able to have a strong foundation, that's where we're going to uh, succeed in this life. So ladies and gentlemen, I believe um, you are going to use this stuff in your real life, but I think it's really up to you, your teacher, and of course our education system to make sure that we're providing you the match education that you can use in your real life. So there you go, that's my answer.